Hey guys, so I am painting um, a newborn backdrop. And I always get questions about what I'm using and what I'm doing. And I thought, well, if anyone's interested, I will add this on YouTube. And if there's absolutely no interest, then I will just keep doing the fast ones that kind of give you a really 30 second overview. It's gonna be a little larger project than normal. Okay, you gotta get my hair up out of the way so I don't get paint on my hair, huh, sweet girl? Okay, you gonna help me paint the water on? Okay, you hop over there and you can paint over there. We're just getting it wet, remember how we do? Just kinda of getting it wet. It takes a little time, doesn't it? Sometimes I just use my hands to just shoo, acrylic. I usually actually use watercolors for the for this type, but I'm using acrylics today because I'm the boss of me, I guess, and I get to do whatever I want. So anyway, um, and then I have some brown. So obviously the outsides are going to be darker. So um, I'm just using a bread bag to mix this on. And so we're going to kind of start dark and get lighter as we move in. Now just I just keep getting lighter as we go in and that kind of draws the light or the eye into the center where the baby will be so that's perfect. I don't want it to look like it has too much rhyme or reason at this point. It's just kind of little spots of light you know coming through. I can wax on, wax off. Just, okay, so I'm gonna change out my water and I'll come back. And just to create depth, even though I'm not creating a lot of definition in these flowers, they're just gonna be pretty little, probably unidentifiable flowers. <laughs> these type of flowers may not exist in real life because like I said, I'm not really good at painting flowers, but Thankfully for what I do and what I need them for, I don't need to be super great at painting flowers. So, oh wow. Okay, so this color is actually gorgeous. I'm just kind of dotting these around and then I'll blend them. If you are a photographer and you have any questions, I'm not an expert, obviously, but you're welcome to ask. I'm not really the kind of photographer that tries to keep everything to myself so ask away i'm always happy to help if it helps um i love to help so and it should look like um these are flowers that are further away and so that's what we're doing my family loves it when i make a huge mess of the kitchen okay so i'm actually deciding to add in a little bit of golden yellow because light pretty so yeah. just gonna be painting flowers for like two hours not gonna do super um, technical flowers because it's just not necessary when you're photographing a baby the baby is really or should be the main focus so I'm just making shapes at this point well, oh shyste not funny oh my goodness I just splashed myself everywhere and it's national Swiss day so I just swore in Swiss sorry about that I'll be back changed into painting attire I don't know what I was thinking just was so excited to get started that I didn't want to uh, change, but <laughs> I just splashed burnt sienna all over my hands, neck, all over everything. So I just changed from head to toe. We're just going to proceed like nothing happened here. So <laughs> actually, I'm going to just kind of blur the edges by hand um, because they're the furthest away, they're going to be a little bit blurrier. Okay, so it's out here on the trampoline drying. 
um let's get some close-ups like i said like i said there's very little like definition to these flowers they're not gonna win any awards <laughs> but it just kind of makes a pretty little um backdrop you can imagine the baby right here either in a bowl or laying there um and these flowers going off into the background and the foreground and I really like the way it turned out. I did add some little gold sparkles because I'm kind of a sparkle fan and they probably won't even be noticed in the photographs but I know they're there and I like them so anyways when it dries um, it's still super wet it's probably going to be quite a bit lighter than this but especially since this got the black underneath you can see that it's darker because of the black trampoline. But anyway, tell me what you think.